Greetings and welcome. Get ready for an exciting adventure in today's video title. Centimorgan Simplified, an essential tool in genetics. In this video, we delve into the world of centimorgans. We'll guide you through the essential science behind this crucial genetic unit, its use in DNA matching and genetic testing, and the role of statistics in interpreting it. Additionally, we will address common misconceptions to prevent misunderstandings about this important tool. Welcome to our distinct YouTube space, a haven for those passionate about reconnecting with their lineage and exploring their family history. At GettingToTheRoots.com, our mission is to navigate you through the enthralling realm of genealogy. Whether it's tracing ancestors, building family trees, organizing family reunions, or blogging family stories. We've got you covered. Our channel is a hub for straightforward tutorials, actionable advice, and all-encompassing guides designed to support you at every stage of your journey. We delve into a range of topics, from the basics for beginners to sophisticated techniques for expert genealogists, ensuring there's something for everyone. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Smash that subscribe button and join our dynamic community of heritage enthusiasts and guardians of family stories. Motivated by the enlightening video. What is a centimorgan? How DNA painters shared CM tool can help genealogy research from Genealogy TV. I am excited to share my own knowledge and perspectives with you. Let's dive in. What is the science behind centimorgans? In the vivid world of biomedical sciences, few concepts stand the test of time. Their fundamental applications are perennially relevant and drastically transformative. Such is the case of centimorgans, a unit of measure that illuminates the world of genetic mapping and navigates through the enthralling genetic landscape. This piece peels off layers from the seemingly aloof concept of the centimorgan, aiding in bridging the gap between complex genetics and human comprehension. Centimorgan Simplified, the legacy of Morgan and Sturtevant. The inseparable duo Thomas Hunt Morgan and Alfred Sturtevant introduced the centimorgan, detailing it as a measure of genetic linkage or recombinant frequency, propelling the field of genetics into uncharted territories. In essence, a centimorgan indicates a 1% chance that a marker at one genetic locus on a chromosome will be separated from a marker at a second locus due to crossing over in a single generation. Though it alludes to a physical distance on a chromosome, a centimorgan is not a fixed unit of length. Rather, it varies depending on the species in question, the locus on the chromosome, and even between the sexes. Thus, it encodes a functional characteristic versus a physical one, which distinguishes it profoundly from the more widely known concept of a base pair. The application of centimorgans as a distance measure in genetic maps underpins several fundamental realities of genetic behavior. Genetic crossover, central to the concept, acts as a vitality reservoir, enhancing the variation that equips species for environmental adaptation. By signifying this crossover, centimorgans provide a dynamic view of genetics beyond linear sequences of nucleotides, making genetic maps more realistic and informative while opening doors for advanced genetic analysis. What is the role of centimorgans in biomedical research? Centimorgans play a pivotal role in the biomedical sciences' intricate explorations. These involve tracing inheritance patterns, predicting disease probabilities, identifying genetic markers for complex traits, and much more. The concept, with its basis in genetic recombination, allows researchers to construct genetic linkage maps. These maps act as a roadmap that helps unravel the genetic architecture of diseases or traits. Furthermore, centimorgans are instrumental in genome-wide association studies GWAS, which facilitate remarkable discoveries about correlations between genotype and phenotype. Such contributions not only revolutionize human understanding of genetic makeup, but also allow adept interventions in disease management. While it is tempting to attribute a precise physical correlation to centimorgans, such attempts are rendered futile owing to the variable nature of crossover events. So, the centimorgan spirit, its essence, lies in the intrinsically probabilistic idea of showing the chance of a genetic event rather than any specific chromosomal space. 
expanding on previous discussions about the instrumental role of centum organs in genetic research. It becomes salient how this particular notion thoroughly revolutionizes our perception and interpretation of genetics as a whole. Let's first delve into the concept of genetic distance. Conventionally, this term refers to the genetic divergence between species or between populations within a species, creatures that appear to be the same but are genetically distinct. Compellingly, centimorgans are an adept measurement of this divergence as they enable the quantification of genetic variations or changes over generations. In genetic parlance, the use of centimorgans offers a more nuanced, intricate understanding of how and where changes and mutations may occur across generations thereby directly augmenting our proficiency in genetic distance measurement. Centimorgans are units of measurement that help in quantifying the genetic relationship between individuals based on shared sequences of DNA. This genetic exploration highlighted intriguing insights, especially concerning the shared CMS between second and third cousins. Conventional expectations might lead us to anticipate a more significant amount of shared DNA with closer relatives. However, the principles of genetic inheritance, often influenced by both consanguinity and genetic dogma, can result in unexpected outcomes. Consanguinity, referring to the relationship between individuals descended from a common ancestor, can significantly impact genetic similarity. Families with histories of consanguinity might exhibit surprising patterns in shared DNA, sometimes leading to greater genetic overlap with more distant relatives, like third cousins, compared to closer ones. This variation is also caused by genetic dogma, which includes the basic ideas of genetic inheritance, such as the fact that DNA recombination happens by chance. It's not uncommon to share similar or even larger amounts of DNA with a third cousin as compared to a second cousin. This variability is a reflection of both the randomness inherent in how DNA is passed down through generations and the historical mating patterns within the family. In essence, understanding centimorgans in the context of family relationships is a complex but fascinating endeavor. It involves unraveling the interplay between genetics and family history, where both consanguinity and the principles of genetic inheritance play crucial roles. Each shared centimorgan reveals a piece of the puzzle of our ancestry, illuminating the intricate web of connections that bind us together as a family. Lastly, let us turn our gaze towards genetic testing, a field that has undergone profound updates thanks to our understanding of centimorgans. Genetic tests utilize centimorgans to identify inherited disorders, assess risk factors for specific diseases, and inform treatment decisions. Geneticists often utilize complex algorithms, incorporating centimorgan values, to accurately determine the probability of genetic disorders. Given its immense predictive potential, the centimorgan is deemed indispensable in moving genetic medicine beyond disease diagnosis and prevention toward personalized treatment and precision health. While it is easy to become lost in the abstract and labyrinthine nature of genomic science, the quiet, consistent presence of the concept of the centimorgan illuminates the path. It serves as a steadfast compass guiding our understanding of genetic distance, our identification of DNA matches, and the profound potential inherent in genetic testing. A sound comprehension of the centimorgan metric, therefore, is not just about understanding the minutiae of genetics. It is inherently a journey towards deciphering the vast, unseen universe of our own genetic code. Understanding probability in genomics. How one might ask, does probability come into play in this seemingly rigid realm of genomics? Understanding this requires a brief dive into the statistics that underpin much of genetic research. Probability, in statistics, is a measure of the likelihood of a particular event occurring. Applied to genetics, the use of probability allows a more nuanced understanding of the distribution of these genetic segments, represented as centimorgans, among related individuals. When the probabilities of various genetic transmission patterns are calculated, it aids in accurately discerning the extent of genetic relationships. Let us consider the role of centimorgans in elucidating DNA matches and familial relationships. When two individuals share a certain number of centimorgans, it implies they have inherited a portion of DNA from a common ancestor. 
However, the picture is not often as clear-cut as the distribution of shared centum organs varies substantially depending on the precise relationship between the two individuals. Here, probability estimates add depth and context to the raw centum organ data, providing a percent chance for different types of relationships. For instance, siblings, on average, share about 50% of their genetic code, equivalent to approximately 3,400 centum organs. Yet, due to the randomness of genetic recombination, this value may vary, and two full siblings may share anywhere between 2,200 and 3,400 centum organs. Thus, having the centum organ count alone won't give the full picture. Integrating probability distributions for different centum organ ranges refines this range, providing a more accurate depiction of the possible relationship. Moreover, probability underlies much of genetic testing since genetic diseases are often attributed to variants in specific genes. In the context of disease risk, we deal with probabilities depending on the number of risk alleles inherited and their combined impact. Centum organ measurements complement this by pinpointing the location of these genomic variants. Therefore, understanding both the probability of inheriting specific variants and their location in centum organs within the genome constitutes an essential part of medical genetic studies and decision making regarding treatment options. Genetic recombination events are not random but have hotspot regions where they occur more frequently. The centum organ is a static measure of recombination frequency, but probability models can help visualize individual variations in these hotspots. This variation explored through probability models and centum organs contribute to our understanding of how genomes change over time, offering insights into evolution, migration patterns, and population history. Misconceptions and Misinterpretations Surrounding Centum Organs one primary misunderstanding involves the perception that centum organs are an absolute reflection of physical distances on a given chromosome. However, the exact physical distance represented by a centum organ is subject to variation. This variation results from factors such as differing recombination rates across the genome and distinctions that exist between males and females in regard to the frequency of recombination events. It is important to distinguish that centum organs do not directly equate to the number of genes, given that genes are not evenly distributed throughout the genome. Hence, a segment of DNA measuring 10 centum organs may contain more genes in one part of the genome compared to another. Another area of common misconception is the belief that the number of shared centum organs between two individuals is a definite reflection of a specific familial relationship. However, owing to the unpredictable nature of genetic recombination, two immediate family members could share varying amounts of centum organs to such an extent it appears they are more or less related than in reality. Additionally, the predictability of disease risk or identification of genetic traits based solely on centum organs is misjudged. While they are indeed vital to genetic studies, centum organs alone cannot provide a definitive probability of having a genetic disease or trait. This misconception often leads to overestimates of disease risk and false certainty about genetic inheritance. Simplifying centum organs and correcting misconceptions. It's vital to clarify. The difference between centum organs and exact physical distances, gene numbers, and direct family connections. Additionally, understanding the impact of genetic drift, natural selection, and mutation is key. It's also important to acknowledge the limitations of using centum organs for predicting disease risks or traits. Considering the randomness of genetic inheritance and environmental influences for a full understanding of our genetic identity. As we conclude this chapter on centum organs simplified, we have gained valuable insight into the important role centum organs play in genetics and DNA analysis. This exploration has furthered our comprehension of this dynamic area of science that is continuously progressing. However, the journey does not end here. We welcome you to remain engaged in this captivating field. If you found our content useful, we invite you to join the discussion by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Thanks for watching. Peace and love.